In this video, I will show you how to felt a small knitted project like this wine koozie. The free pattern is available at palmerycrafts.com. You will need some mild dish soap, a bowl, which can be a plastic tub or a bucket. I could use a sink, but I like to save hot water when I am working on a small project, so I usually use a medium-sized bowl, a bath towel or bunch of hand towels, and depending on the project, you can use some newspapers to stuff inside of the project for the drying process. But for this demonstration, I will be making a wine glass koozie, which I'd like to shape it after felting. So I will be using a wine glass. I prefer to use heavy duty cleaning gloves and I'll explain why I like to use them during the demonstration. First, we are going to fill the bowl with some hot water with a little bit of dish soap. Use the hottest water you can handle. It is depends on your water heating setting. I get really hot water, so I fill the bowl directly from the faucet. You can also boil water on the stove top and add cold water to adjust the temperature. You will be dipping your hands in it, so please make sure it is not too hot for you. I like to use heavy duty cleaning gloves, which adds a little bit more tolerance for the high temperature and also protect your hands from drying out. Once the water is ready, dump your knitted item into the water and start agitating. Once all the air is out and it is completely saturated, take it out of the water and roll between your hands. Then dip it in the water again. Let it saturate, take it out, and roll again. First, the fabric starts to feel very relaxed and stretched, but that is normal. Continue the process of dipping and rolling for a few minutes. If the water temperature starts to go down, add more hot water into the bowl. Again, be very careful not to burn yourself. Make sure to roll and agitate from different directions and every part of your project. If necessary, you can put the project inside out, so it will be felted evenly. I kept going for about 6 minutes, but you can still see some stitch definitions and it's slightly too big for my wine glass. So I'm going to dip and roll for a few more minutes. If this tutorial has been helpful, please click like and subscribe for future tutorials. Thank you for supporting this channel. Once felting is done, rinse with some clean cold water. Gently squeeze the water out and put it on a dry towel. I like using a bath towel folded a few times to add layers. Lay the project flat on the towel, fold the towel over and push it down or roll it down to get excess water out. Repeat this process for a few times in a dry area. Most of the time, we will put newspapers inside to absorb the moisture and let them dry. But for this project, I prefer to fit it back on the wine glass so I can shape it and level the rim. If you're making this project, please be careful not to push the glass too hard. I don't want you to break the glass and cut your finger. Once shaping is done, you can put it upside down and let it dry. Once it is dry, we can put a little personal touch. Since it was a product, I used a personalized leather label to sew it with a leftover yarn. But you can do whatever you like to decorate this cozy. I think embroidery would be a fun idea too. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Thank you for watching. Happy knitting!